These are some of the names given to the capybara in South America. Without a doubt, the capybara is an uncommon animal, and its weight of more than a hundred pounds makes it the largest rodent in the world. Its snout high and truncated. Its eyes and nasal orifices are protruding and are set in the upper part of the head, an adaptation related to its aquatic habits. We distinguish the adult male by a hump on its snout. It is a cluster of glands whose secretion has a communication function, probably having to do with the animal's territory and status. The capybara has another gland situated on both sides of the anus, which is well developed in both sexes. Its function has not been precisely determined, though it appears to be related to identifying the group's members. Here we observe an individual marking vegetation with its hump and anal gland. The newly born and very young may be easy prey for caracaras, vultures, crocodiles, anacondas, pumas, and ocelots. In the case of the capybara, the bacteria that helps them to digest cellulose are in a part of the intestine known as the blind tract, which constitutes 75% of their digestive tract. It is located at the end of the latter, and because of this, they must re-ingest their feces to take advantage of the work of their symbiont bacteria, a process known as coprophagy. That is why it spends mornings in seeming inactivity, only recycling its food to make the most of the pasture eaten the night before. Capybaras live in herds, like other large herbivorous animals that inhabit open spaces such as tropical savannas. Theirs are not temporary or circumstantial associations, but very clearly defined social units. The group's females, about five or six, though seemingly more passive, are the binding element of this small society. They share the rearing of the young by suckling indiscriminately any that approach them. Certain females are often observed with a large following of young, which leads local inhabitants to overestimate the size of broods and the reproductive capacity of the species. The gregarious instinct is so strong that at a given moment the young follow any adult in the group 